Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. It is Sunday, November 24th, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment. Before we get to that, though, a quick note. If you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, it's a real cool way to give it a trial run. Click on the link below the video. Get set up for a free $60 account. Use those free $60 bucks on any of my daily packages at DocSports.com. And it comes with a DocSports guarantee. It's as simple as that. Free $60 account. Cool way to give DocSports.com a trial run. Click on the link below the video to get started. Had an okay day in football. Could have been a great day. We, we showed a small profit yesterday on Saturday as our college football continues to be hot over the last oh, four or five weeks now. In fact, we came into the weekend 65% college and NFL combined over the past four weeks. Winning day yesterday, but it could have been a great day if we could have got one more point out of UAB. That was our top play yesterday that we told you about all week long, and it, it pushed came up a point short of the cover. They had their chances. They completely shut down Louisiana Tech. Louisiana Tech getting uh, less than 300 yards in the game and UAB out yarding them by about 100 yards. Uh, had their chances. They were up 20-7 to seven at one point. Didn't score again as they kind of lollygagged through the final oh, 10 to 12 minutes of that game. Ended up getting the push, so it could have been worse. Uh, but again, at the same time, just one more point and uh, we have a great day rather than a small profitable day. But again, college football does win again overall and uh, and and that's good now because the last four or five weeks we've been on this run 65 percent going into Saturday and uh, we've still got four more games to go we've got three on Sunday including my next six unit play it goes on Sunday and we finish up strong with Monday Night Football between the Ravens and the Rams so we've still got four games and two days of NFL action to go they're all available right now over at DocSports.com all you got to do is head over to the website click on my homepage, and you'll be able to get those plays basketball NBA available 1 p.m. Eastern on Sunday and that's the same with the NHL kind of a drag on a couple of games where the UAB push which could have meant for a real big day college basketball we had Memphis uh, they're up 16 with about seven and a half minutes to go laying three and a half or four depending on when you got the line they win 87 86 they gave up uh, 34 points over the uh, over the last six and a half minutes and the killer of it all was a just a so called meaningless uh, three pointer from near half court for Ole Miss at the buzzer that either cost you a win or a push uh, but Memphis goes uh, into the books as an 87-86 straight up win no cover for Memphis in college baskets and then of course we had the NHL game last night hey we've been riding the Islanders and we knew this was going to happen eventually they lost in overtime to San Jose but again uh, winning day overall in college football we look to do it again in the NFL we look to make it five winning weeks uh, where we can brag about being between 65 and 70 percent if we have a big day on on Sunday and then of course on Monday night. Before I get to the free pick, a uh, real quick note, we're going to uh, be on ESPN as we are each and every Sunday around 12.30 p.m. Eastern time, uh, right 20 minutes to a half hour before kickoff when we give the latest betting report from the desert. We also look globally offshore and uh, as we do on Sunday morning videos, we like to give you a little bit of a taste of where the betting is and the betting report and so far uh, the team getting the most lopsided tickets percentage wise is the same team that's getting the most lopsided money percentage wise and that is the Detroit Lions who are laying the points on the road to Washington. Currently a three and a half point number are the Lions who opened up originally last Sunday for today uh, for Sunday's game at one and a half. Up to three and a half they're getting about 75% of the tickets about 80% of the money in that one. And then the biggest Joes versus pros or at least one of them that I wanted to tell you about uh, was the Buffalo Bills hosting the Denver Broncos and the public tickets about 54 55% on Buffalo but you're talking about 60% of the money so the sharp action on the underdog Denver Broncos the public action is more on the Buffalo Bills and just kind of looking around that's pretty much uh, our top Joes versus pros play as of Saturday night heading into Sunday. All right, again, don't forget about the NFL. You can grab it right now. You grab basketball on Sunday, college 11.30 a.m. Eastern, pros at 1 p.m. Eastern along with the NHL. As far as the NFL, it is available right now. Wanted to give you our situational play of the week here in the NFL. It's 2-0 so far this season, last two weeks. Well, two weeks ago, the Atlanta Falcons over the New Orleans Saints. And last week, uh, it was a situation where the Cincinnati 
Cincinnati Bengals got the money over the Oakland Raiders. Basically, the situational play of the week, this time of the year, road non-favorites, that means road teams that are either an underdog or pick them, are 38 and 13 against the spread if they've lost at least six straight games. Well, the team this week, as we look to go to 3-0 and with this angle over the last three weeks, is the New York Giants plus the points over the Chicago Bears. Trubisky named probable on Saturday morning. I know that doesn't put any uh, fright into anybody who's looking to play against the Chicago Bears and the Bears, of course, their linebacking crew, a little bit off, uh, was, which was one of the reasons we went against them last week and took the Rams, and you saw what happened there as Todd Gurley was able to run the ball quite well. But anyway, uh, system or situation, I should say, game of the week is a uh, recommended play on the New York Giants. That's our opinion uh, for Sunday in the NFL. All right, listen, let's put them in the win column. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. I'll be right back here Monday by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific.